Scientists discover new way to travel faster than light. In our day-to-day -day life, any mode of long-distance transportation would either require a train, a ship, or an airplane. And it takes about a few hours to even a few days to get to our destination, depending on our mode of transport. But when it comes to space travel, time is of the essence because even a second could be the difference between life or death. Space explorers have always been on the lookout for a way to travel faster than light to get to deep space faster. All of the methods discovered so far have significant flaws, but scientists have discovered a new way. It may sound like science fiction, but spaceships that travel at the speed of light is possible, according to one of the world's leading scientists. Speed of light? How fast is light exactly? Remarkably, the exact speed of light is known and serves as the foundation for most other calculations. The speed of light in a vacuum is exactly 299,792,458 meters per second. If this value does not amuse you, then let me tell you that the circumference of Earth is 40.075 to 5 million meters. This means that the light can actually go around the circumference of the Earth more than twice just in the blink of an eye. And it only takes one third of a second to blink an eye. So you can probably imagine just how fast light is. The light year, which is the distance that light can travel in a year, is another unit of measurement that involves light. Astronomers and physicists use it to measure vast distances across our universe. The universe is so vast that light can travel thousands of years from one end to the other. The moon is about one light second away because light travels from the moon to our eyes in about one second. Sunlight, on the other hand, takes longer to reach our eyes, taking about eight minutes to reach our eyes, implying that the sun is about eight light minutes away. The light from Proxima Centauri, our nearest star system, takes 4.3 years to reach us, so Proxima Centauri is 4.3 light years away. Other stars and objects beyond our solar system can be found at distances ranging from a few light years to a few billion light years. Reaching Proxima Centauri with current rocket technology would take about 6,300 years. When they study distant objects, they see light that depicts the objects as they were at the time the light left them. Scientists have tried to find a way to travel at the speed of light, despite the fact that there are many fascinating things you can do with light. In a recent study, Dr. Eric Lentz, a physicist at Göttingen University in Germany, recently proposed a method for a rocket to theoretically travel faster than light, or over 186,000 miles per second. At that rate, astronauts could travel to other star systems in a matter of years, allowing humanity to colonize distant planets. Warp drives have been proposed in the past, but they typically rely on theoretical approaches that defy physics. Because it is physically impossible for anything to travel faster than the speed of light, according to Einstein's general theory of relativity. Dr. Lentz claims that his hypothetical warp drive would operate within physics bounds. Rather than relying on abnormal concepts like negative energy, he solves the problem by inventing a new theoretical particle. According to a press release from Göttingen University, these hyperfast solitons can travel at any speed while obeying the laws of physics. A soliton, also known as a warp bubble, is a compact wave that behaves like a particle while maintaining its shape and traveling at a constant speed. Dr. Lentz developed his theory after reviewing existing research and identifying gaps in previous warp drive studies. Solitons, he believes, could travel faster than light and create a conducting plasma and traditional electromagnetic fields. Both of these ideas are well known in traditional physics and follow Einstein's theory of relativity. While his warp drive offers the tantalizing prospect of faster than light travel, it is still in the concept stage for the time being. The device would necessitate an enormous amount of energy, which would be impossible to achieve with current technology. To be in the range of modern nuclear fission reactors, energy savings would have to be massive, on the order of 30 orders of magnitude. Fortunately, previous research has proposed several energy-saving mechanisms that could potentially reduce the energy required by nearly 60 orders of magnitude. Mi El Alcubierre, a Mexican mathematician, provided an intuitive picture of what a warp drive would do. 
contract the space directly in front of the central region containing the ship or transport and expand the space directly behind it. Because of how energy is distributed around the warp bubble, Lensi's solution differs geometrically from Alcubierre's and most others. The energy density and curvatures are maximally separated in the Alcubierre solution with the energy restricted to a small torus between the regions of high contraction and expansion. In Lensi's proposal, the curvatures and sources are highly correlated, with the regions of high energy density and high expansion and contraction almost exactly overlapping. Because of the geometric differences between his concept and traditional concepts, Lensi's proposal could be a more viable warp solution than those previously proposed. The astrophysicist stated that he will now concentrate his efforts on developing a practical version of the technology. According to Dr. Lentz, this work has moved the problem of faster-than-light travel from theoretical research in fundamental physics to engineering. However, he sees a few immediate steps that can be taken to bring his version closer to reality. The next goal, he said, is to use a modern-day fission reactor to create a warp bubble capable of traveling at 1% of the speed of light. The physicist made it clear that his work is only a small part of a larger, rapidly expanding body of work in this field, and that the recent increase in new warp drive concepts, since Lentz said it has been exciting to see how much progress has been made in the field of warp drive. He believes that many more advancements are possible, and he is excited to see what the next few years bring.